13 signs Walmart is collapsing in front of our eyes. Walmart is ranked the leading retail store in the U.S. and one of the biggest multinational stores globally with over six decades in existence. With billions of revenue recorded annually, they have proven to be the big fish in the retail business pond. However, this incredible status is slowly fading as Walmart is showing signs of a potential fall. A fall that poses a great danger to the longevity of the company. So what are the signals of Walmart's breakdown? To begin, Walmart has faced numerous lawsuits for failure to adhere to the law. More than 500 lawsuits have been approved by the court and Walmart has paid a heavy price. They have paid more than $5.5 billion for lawsuits made from the year 2000 alone. If we include lawsuits before 2000, we could see numbers sale to more than $10 billion as a general estimate. Very surprising, right? Since the categories of lawsuits are numerous, we'll go through five major offenses that took the bigger share of Walmart's penalties. Selling unapproved medical products takes the top spot since the company had paid $3.3 billion, followed by employment-related offenses, which the company had paid $3.6 billion. Third place is competition-related offenses, in which the company faced a $308 million fine, accompanied by corruption offenses, where the company was fined $281 million. The last core offense is an environmental violation for which the company paid $138 million. All these offenses are testimonials of how Walmart has been taking the law into its own hands, and this could be the beginning of their downfall if they keep up with this type of behavior. This is a sign that cannot be underestimated as we have seen several stores shut down due to non-compliance with the law. The second sign of Walmart's rapture is its supply chain issues. The company is dealing with inventory overload. It's grappling with a 32% progressive annual increase in excess inventory. This has brought chaos to the working environment since it has created congestion in restrooms, pallets blocking breastfeeding rooms and stock rooms. The compelling atmosphere has made some of the employees lay down their tools since the working condition is not appealing. Conversely, the sea route to the U.S. has proven to be a menace for ships that distribute supplies. Many port restrictions and congestions at the harbor are making the distribution system sluggish, hence this is hurting Walmart's earnings. The third sign is Walmart's ill-preparedness for inflation. Inflation has been having the last laugh over Walmart as it has deeply affected its operation. Inflation has caused consumers to be with their spending and cutting costs. In addition, inflation has caused prices of commodities to rise and this has led to reduced affordability to shoppers. These two aspects have made customers refrain from going to Walmart stores since they are venturing to explore cheaper places. This has ended as a lose-lose situation for the company because some stores are recording losses. As a consequence, 20 stores have been shut down in April and more closures are expected to occur. The fourth sign is Walmart's failure to realign fully with the technological pace. The ever-changing world is taking another huge dimension in the business setup. Previously, many businesses operated under brick-and-mortar setups, but this structure is slowly dying with the emergence of e-commerce. Currently, customers are now ordering commodities online to reach their doorstep, and this is a threat to Walmart, which largely operates under a brick-and-mortar setup. Even though Walmart is trying to adjust to e-commerce, the damage has already been done since underperforming brick-and-mortar stores have been closed. The areas closed include Honolulu, Hawaii, Everett, Washington, Louisville, Kentucky, Brooklyn Center in Minnesota, Forest Park, Ohio, and South Bend, Indiana. The fifth sign is the enormous inventory loss within Walmart. The company has been fighting inventory theft for a long time and no permanent solution has been found as of yet. The rise of crime syndicates has eternally hurt Walmart's merchandise value. Equivalently, 3% of its worth is lost to theft, and this ignited the concern of the current Walmart CEO, Doug McMillan. The CEO admits that the theft rate is at its peak compared to previous rates. He further affirmed that this may make the company increase the prices of its commodities to compensate for the loss.
The alarming rate of burglaries has forced the company to close its doors in Chicago. Four stores are set to be shut down in the area as the place has proven to be a nuisance for businesses to carry on smoothly. Another funny twist that is cropping up in inventory theft is that their employees are robbing them, considering the employees should be at the forefront protecting the company's property. This has been happening a lot lately, and it's a puzzle that the company has yet to solve. For instance, an employee at Forest Park Walmart made away with $6,700 worth of merchandise. The sixth sign is the inability of Walmart to handle its gigantic payroll. Walmart is finding itself in a straining position to sustain its employees since the overwhelming number is injuring the company's profit. Similarly, they reported a 24.8% decline in profits as a result of a massive payroll bill. As a result, they have resorted to taking bitter medicine to tame the situation. The bitter medicine is reducing their workforce, and many have faced job cuts as the company is struggling to balance the books. As per the CNN media reports, 2,000 warehouse workers were fired in April of this year. The seventh sign is Walmart's increased borrowing. The company is gradually maneuvering into a debt trap that will pose future problems. Bearing in mind debts have caused many retail companies to close doors, Walmart won't be immune to this. The updated records indicate that their debt now stands at $40.2 billion. Ironically, that's not the end of their borrowing appetite as the company secured an additional $5 billion loan in April. In the long run, Walmart will find itself in financial turmoil, especially if it fails to honor financial obligations to its creditors. The eighth sign is Walmart's poor customer service. Many shoppers have expressed fury at the way Walmart attends to them. For example, there have been continuous complaints of long lines. Consumers have had long wait times before they got served, and this made some run out of patience. In one instance, another major complaint is delayed deliveries. Walmart has been unable to adapt to e-commerce completely, as many customers conveyed that most of their deliveries are late. These have enabled some of the customers to opt out of the Walmart to find some exciting shopping experience elsewhere. The ninth sign is Walmart's substandard products. Shockingly, Walmart has been known to sell stale foods and violate health measures. Likewise, Lawrence Walmart has been closed because the food license was suspended by the Health Department of Marion County. This was done after a complaint by a customer who found mouse and rodent droppings in a bag of hot dog buns. Disgusting, right? Well, this is not the only case. There was a scene where bad meat was sold. This attracted the attention of the Food Safety and Inspection Service, which issued a public health alert, advising shoppers to dispose of any meat they bought at that time. The health hazards attached to some of Walmart's products have chased customers away, since no one wants to buy a product that will make them sick. This raises a lot of concern about Walmart's future on the well-being of their shoppers. The tenth sign is the high turnover rate experienced by Walmart. The company's bad reputation in the labor sector has long been known, and it's the core reason why they have poor employee retention. Employees are discontent with the current wages, as they feel the money is not enough to make ends meet. In particular, a cashier at Walmart said that $12 per hour is not enough to cover living expenses. In addition, employees work long hours with no flexibility in their schedule, and this makes them become drained. This has caused some employees to end their contract, as they feel they cannot cope with the environment. Furthermore, this has made some stores go understaffed, thereby increasing the chances of anticipated store closures. The company has not stepped up to the situation. One good example is that the management was caught up in a mess of $224 million of unpaid wages. Moreover, the solution for the company to increase wages from $12 to $17 per hour is not convincing to many. The eleventh sign is the fierce competition Walmart is facing from Amazon. Amazon has proven to be Walmart's nightmare and key competitor. Amazon has thrived rapidly in e-commerce, which has been its key business model from the start, while Walmart is technically struggling to shift away from a brick-and-mortar setup. Amazon's high profitability is a threat to Walmart, and this has been a tale of a bloody rivalry between the two biggest companies in the U.S.
The twelfth sign is Walmart's slow responsiveness to outbreaks. The approach the company is using to deal with emergencies is obsolete, and it's causing more significant damage. For example, the sluggish response to the fire outbreak in a Walmart store in Georgia saw the entire stock burnt to ashes. The damage done was beyond repair, hence the store was closed indefinitely. Another recent event was at a Walmart store in Massachusetts, where the pipes leaked heavily from the ceiling as the roofing was collapsing. After the incident, the store was closed and the authorities are assessing the situation. The final sign that is haunting Walmart is the shift from purchasing household items to people resorting to buying foodstuffs at large. The consumer's habits have shifted toward buying groceries, thereby leaving furniture overstocked in the stores. As a result, there have been low sales recorded on pieces of furniture since most people aren't focused on acquiring them. The low profit recorded on home items ignited a lot of concerns about Walmart's profitability, and it is now desperate to dispose of the goods from the stores. Now they are being sold at throwaway prices in Walmart's effort to boost earnings. So, if you want to buy a piece of cheap furniture, now's the time to rush to the store and enjoy some really good discounts. So what does this potential collapse of Walmart mean to employees and consumers? The probable collapse poses a threat to the job security of employees. From the recent trends, we are witnessing numerous employees being laid off, and that's a stressful situation for them. Most employees depend on those jobs to feed their families. Hence, when such a situation develops, many panic since they feel poverty is knocking at the door. Despite the reputation the Walmart company has, Walmart still has loyal shoppers who depend on the stores to replenish supplies. If a collapse sinks in, the loyal shoppers will be displaced since they want a store that will offer the same shopping experience as Walmart. As Walmart is put to the test, will the company prove that it is a force to reckon with, or are we going to witness the ultimate downfall of this legendary